what about the special cat types of burn so let us now discuss the types of burn the types of burn when we talk about the types of burn what are the varieties of burn that we have the first that we have is a hot burn when we talk about hot burn what are the important things that you should be knowing hot burn is a further four types what are they we have a scald we have a scald if you talk about a scald what is a scald this is burn due to hot liquids so damage due to hot liquids so suppose you were enjoying a cup of tea and unfortunately that spilled over you will have a scald second is flame burn what do you mean by flame burn what do you mean by flame a flame burn is a burn because of the damage induced by the superheated steam or the oxidized gases around the flame so this is burn associated with superheated steam superheated steam or you can say the oxidized gas or oxidized gases around the main flame then comes the one more very important type of burn which is known as a flash burn if you talk about the flash burn what is so important about this flash burn this is any burn associated with inflammatory substances or you can say inflammable substances basically so this is burn associated with inflammable inflammable substances now the last in this the last in this is a friction burn so what is this friction burn all about friction burn if you talk about it is the burn due to contact with the superheated surface or you can say in contact with the hot surface so this is burn this is damage associated this is associated with contact to hot surface so these are the four types of you can say hot burns what are the other types of special burns the second category of burns is a cold burn the second category is a cold burn now cold burn many of us know that it is any damage inflicted due to extremes of temperature extremely low temperature it induces a cold burn now let us try to understand what are the types of cold burn that we have so cold burns are of two types we have freezing and we have non freezing injuries so cold burns we have freezing injuries and we have non freezing injuries so first we will discuss the concept of non freezing injuries non freezing injuries is described as any damage inflicted due to exposure of body to extremely low temperature but not sub zero so always remember it has to be above zero degree like in india we see na there is a cold wave going on in the winters and there are a lot of patients dying there are a lot of gangrenes happening there are a lot of changes so let us see what is non freezing injuries it is any damage it is any damage associated with exposure to extreme colds exposure to extreme cold extreme cold but not sub zero but not sub zero temperature now what could be the classical examples for this cold water immersion syndrome yes all of a sudden you were excited and you took a dip in the holy ganges in gangotri and it was very cold and then you had a vasovagal collapse and you had a cardiac arrest and you died so what is that cold water immersion syndrome so the examples are the classical examples are cold water immersion syndrome cold water immersion syndrome point number 1 the second we have is trench foot trench foot we also you must have heard of chill blains so chill blains so these are all associated with non freezing injuries let us talk about the freezing injuries the concept of freezing injury if we talk about the concept of freezing injury there are of two types 
frostbite frostbite and we have frost nip so we have frostbite and we have frost nip now what is the classical definition of a frostbite by definition it is intracellular freezing due to exposure to sub zero temperature so what is frostbite let us see let us see this thing. and by theory frostbite is irreversible so frostbite is defined as intracellular freezing intracellular freezing in ice formation and because of this intracellular freezing the you know water expands and that is why there is disruption of the cell so intracellular freezing due to exposure to sub zero temperature due to exposure to sub zero temperature yeah and this is going to cause ischemia and ischemia is going to cause the problem of necrosis so by definition this concept of force bite yes is irreversible but then also you must have heard of conditions where you have successfully treated a patient of force bite now how this happens and why this happens what is that condition is it some black magic yes or is it the result of blessings of course blessings are important but this is not this is a phenomena which is a prodromal stage of frostbite and this is known as frost nip uh, now let us talk about the concept of frost nip so when we talk about frost nip what is frost nip frost nip is a prodromal stage of frostbite where all the clinical features of frostbite are present but intracellular freezing is yet to happen so if you have successfully treated a patient of frostbite actually that was not a patient of frostbite that was a impending frostbite or you can say frost nip so frost nip per se is defined as frost nip is defined as prodromal stage prodromal stage to frostbite and this is a stage this is a stage where the clinical features of frostbite or frostbite related features so clinical features are present but intracellular freezing intracellular freezing is yet to happen so intracellular freezing is absent so they are the one who are actually having a very good prognosis so let us see what is the staging what is the staging of frostbite what is the staging of the frostbite now if we talk about frostbite stage 1 it consists of bruise plus inflammation bruise plus inflammation stage 2 is partial thickness involvement partial thickness burn it's a partial thickness involvement so partial thickness injury stage 3 is a full thickness injury full thickness mch entrance aims it was asked in 2019 20 session full thickness they have asked grade 3 and what is grade 4 it is 3 plus involvement of deeper structures plus involvement of deeper structures let us see the management the management is simple and straightforward when we talk about the management the first thing that you have to understand we always consider the patient to be treatable and hence we don't plan anything radical as first line we always go for a conservative management so let us talk about the management be it freezing be it non-freezing injuries so freezing or non-freezing injuries the first line management is always 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 conservative so this is also considered as a treatment of choice conservative now when we talk about conservative management what is the conservative management it is rapid rewarming so rapid rewarming of the organ to what so rapid rewarming of the organ to 42 degree centigrade for at least 15 to 20 minutes if you see the signs of improvement you can continue it also so rapid rewarming to 42 degree centigrade for 15 to 20 minutes for 15 to 20 minutes if the patient improves if the patient improves yes manage conservatively manage conservatively if the patient doesn't improve yes if the patient doesn't improve the plan is you have to you have to 
think about amputation so if the patient shows no improvement no improvement then you have to plan amputation so it is not like that patient came to you around uh, uh, the patient came to you around 9 o'clock and at 9.25 you have given the amputated limb and saying oh, congratulations I have done that no but say the plan you have to explain that the prognosis of this limb is not good but you cannot do amputation until unless the line of or zone of demarcation is definite so this might take two days also two hours also two weeks also so you have to wait for that zone of demarcation to appear and then only you can plan for amputation now do you know that how this temperature of water is behaving with the body yes the, this is miscellaneous this is miscellaneous since i am telling you that 42 degrees centigrade some of you might be thinking so at 42 there might be a burn also for 15 20 minutes here yeah, thermal burn so remember water at water at 70 degrees centigrade it causes full thickness burn full thickness burn in one second only in one second full thickness burn water at water at 65 degree centigrade it will cause full thickness burn in seven seconds and it will cause partial thickness burn in 45 to 60 seconds again water at 45 degree centigrade water at 45 degree centigrade will cause a full thickness burn in roughly six hours so 42 is nothing to worry is nothing to worry and 15 20 minutes or maybe 30 minutes you can comfortably rely on this subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from prep ladder